Welcome to the Dr. Apple's interview series. I'm your host, Lacey, and today we delve into the captivating folklore of Dr. Apple's. In this episode, we're not just recounting his story, but diving deeper into the theme of the ego. Join us as we dissect this compelling aspect of Dr. Apple's journey and uncover the profound insights hidden within. This is part five. I'm a strong proponent of art and writing as a means of therapy because it has pulled me out of a lot of dark times through my adolescent years. And even if I needed it today, I wouldn't hesitate twice about doing it. Um, So I believe it works. It's extremely cathartic. And I actually found one of my old journals. I never, I didn't read it, but I was just Mm. like, oh, wow. Like, (laughs) <laughs> I, I filled it up and I had another journal. It was just interesting that just even have and find. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. Um, I love it. So it, it absolutely works. I'm a strong proponent of it. So Dr. Lex, what is one action a listener could do right after this podcast um, to work on an unbalanced ego? Hmm. Right after this podcast, to work on an unbalanced ego, a listener, what can a listener do? Well, one, they can go to my website and look at the writing prompts. That is one thing they can do. It's a click away. Uh, Another thing they can do is really check in with themselves. I love the idea of doing a Johari's window. And I can, I can actually provide you with a worksheet if you want to give that out to listeners. Sure, and, and I'll have it. A freebie or something like sure, that. Sure, I'll have it listed under the transcripts. Absolutely. What is that? A Jahari's window is a way of looking at yourself. It is a four pane window, a square with four boxes in it. Mm-hmm. And it lists out what's known to yourself and how yourself is known to others. And it kind of collapses in these columns where they overlap. So it's how do you show yourself and then how do others see you? And that's a box. And then the other box is like what's unknown to yourself, but known to others. Mm. And then it's what's known to yourself, but not known to others. What are those things that you keep secret? Oftentimes these are things that we feel shame about Mm -hmm. or dirty or small about. And then there's a window that says what's unknown to yourself and what's unknown to others. And typically we leave this blank because you don't know what's unknown to yourself because it's unknown and others won't either. But talking about each one of these boxes and walking through, you're going to see like, who is the self that I show others? And then who is the self that others perceive me to be? How are these things the same or different? And then what's the self that I know that other people don't know, that I don't show them. Hmm. And so that'll be an interesting and fun exercise because then you can really look over those characteristics to show what you actually value, how you value showing up, what you want to show people or what you don't want to show people. And that can help you really start to get through that information of self in a way that doesn't feel so, so, so heavy. Wow. Oh, that's a great start. So I will absolutely have the link below. Um, Dr. Lex, thank you so much for being a part of this Dr. Apple's journey and giving us insight on the psyche of Dr. Apple's. Um, uh, You are an amazing individual, an incredible doctor, and a loving sister from another mister. Um, <laughs> from way back. Oh my gosh, since volleyball years. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I am so happy to have you. And I recommend everyone going to her site. And I will have it listed below. Uh, just visit her site. She deals with individual therapy couples therapy, family therapy, education, consulting, and training. And she's highly active in social media and she brightens my day sometimes and I participate. So go ahead (laughs) and I will list all of her social media links below. Um, It's just 
it's been a blast. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time and thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm loving the podcast. <laughs> you're, you're incredible. Thanks. Well, that's all the time we have for today's discussion. I would like to thank Dr. Lex for her enlightening input addressing the ego. In fact, she has the Black Girl's Guide to Couples Intimacy coming out shortly, and you're able to subscribe at LexSexDoc.com. As we wrap up today's journey with Dr. Apples, ponder the role of ego in his enchanted tale. Subscribe, share, and join us as we continue unraveling the mysteries of Dr. Apple's world. Until next time, keep exploring the depths of the unseen and join us on the hunt to find his mother.